Hey guys, welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Frank with Kirsch Helmets, and today I'm going to show you how to fashion a simple device to measure the width of your head. We'll also talk about what you can use to measure the circumference of your head. These are the two points that you need to get proper fitment for a Kirsch helmet. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to fashion a simple device to measure the width of your head. You're basically going to make these two pieces, and it's really simple. You just need a piece of cardboard and something to cut it with. So you're just going to make a basic L shape. And it probably doesn't have to be more than more than 10 to 12 inches across. So that's probably more than enough. So you're going to just cut, cut out the L. Cut out an L piece. These are the two pieces that you're going to get. You're going to get an L piece and a straight edge. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be super perfect. So it's just to get the width of your head. So once you have the two pieces made, you can now put them on the person's head. Just above the ear at that one contact point and hold the next piece the next contact point. You want to hold it tight so that it doesn't move and then measure the piece up. And in this case, it's about six and three eighths, six and a, six and a quarter, six and three eighths. The best way to measure the circumference of your head is to use a tailor's tape measure. A tailor's tape measure is a flexible uh, measurement tool made of cloth or plastic and it, it really just wraps around the head. Um, so what you want to do is, just like you're putting on a pair of sunglasses, it's really the same place you want to take the measurement. So it's just above the ear, right over the, the brow, and you measure like that. Now if you're like me, and like most people, you don't have a tailor's tape measure, so there's another way to do that, and I'll show you the best way to do that. Another way you can measure the circumference of your head is just to take a piece of string, and you wanna cut about 30 inches, that's probably more than enough to start the measurement. Once you have your string cut, you're gonna take it around the three contact points of the head. You're gonna mark where that point is. You're gonna then put it along the ruler and measure out exactly where your head is and in this case you're at 23 and a half inches once you have those two measurements now you can go to the chart online and see what size you are 